your God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Your camp activity. This camp activity section is a great metaphor for your life experience here on Earth. When a kid goes to camp, he has a lot of choices of what camp activities he wants to participate in. There is canoeing, basket weaving, pottery, camping, horseback riding, bicycling, clay pot making, archery, and many more to choose from. You can't do them all. So you select three or four for the summer session. All the activities have a few things in common. First, they are all experiences. Each one is geared to be an experience and nothing more. In the basket weaving class, they don't hand you a finished basket. Instead, you get to make your own basket and have the experience of making it from beginning to end. How to get started and after you've learned the basics, you make your own. Once you have chosen your activities, you are really unaware of what is going on in the other activities that you didn't choose. That is the way it should be. Whatever you pay attention to is what you are aware of. Whatever else you don't pay attention to might as well be invisible because you have no awareness of it at all. If you have chosen horseback riding, then you will always notice the horses as you pass the field that they are in because it's relevant to your experience. However, someone else who didn't choose horseback riding nor has any interest in them would hardly notice them, even if they passed them on the road. The horses would just blend into the background with everything else. The obvious thing about camp activities is that they have no real consequence, nor are they necessary. After all, it is just camp, which is a time to get away from home and play for the summer. What you choose to play is of no consequence, just that you are playing and having fun at what you are doing. Because this is camp, and it is set up just for the fun and experience of it, at the end of camp, it doesn't matter if there was a basket that didn't get made or even finished, or that there was a horse that didn't get ridden, or even a mountain that wasn't climbed. So what? Nothing needed to be done or to get done. It was all just for the experience while it lasted. This is the same with your life experience. It makes no difference what you do while you are here at Camp Earth, because the whole place is only energy formed in such a way as to create a temporary physical experience for those who are here. Once you leave the camp facility, Earth, you will return to the non-physical form from which you started. So, enjoy your stay. While here, nothing you do is for the purpose of getting anything done. Like playing in a mountain stream, at the end of the day, nothing is done nor did it need to be. It only needed to provide an opportunity for the experience of it all. Like summer camp, there are countless possible activities that you can choose from and no one activity is any more or less important than another. It doesn't matter whether you play the king or the pawn this time, as it is only the experience of it that was the fun. Like in a movie, the one who plays the king and the one who plays the court gesture may have an equal amount of time in front of the camera and an equal amount of lines to say. So who is to say which part is better to play? Is it playing the stuffy king who 
is always in a crisis? Or is it the court jester who's carefree and always having fun? They are both valid parts, and there is always a part for every player of parts. Every actor. In the end, it doesn't matter what part you are playing, as long as it is the one that you like and gives you the experience of a lifetime. What kind of parts and camp activities are available on Camp Earth? Anything and everything that you can think of. In fact, Camp Earth is set up in such a way so that if you can't find the part of your dreams, you can even create it. As we know from the challenge example and the name three world problems example, there is really nothing going on here. Everything that is happening is doing so because there are people who have chosen it as their camp activity or the part that they want to play in this life experience. For example, take the environmental issues and the problems we face with them. Do you really think that anything can go wrong with a planet that is formed and sustained by energy and is populated by non-physical beings who are having a temporary physical experience here? <laughs> no, nothing is going wrong, nor can it. It is happening because there are millions of people who just love to work on solving that quote-unquote problem as their life's work, or as I like to say, their camp activity while here on Earth. You can see how fun it must be to figure out new ways of generating energy and inventing better devices that save energy and don't pollute. It can be very engrossing and quite satisfying. Do you think that war is any different? There are literally millions of parts to be played in that activity, from generals to the workers at the manufacturing plant who make a living making planes or bullets or whatever. If playing war wasn't fun, we wouldn't have played war games as kids. There are doctors who want to heal, and there are those who play the doctors, and those who play the patients, and there are those who play the ones who lived, and those who played the ones who died. It's all just like a movie, except that you get to really act the part and really experience it. However, it's not your place to decide what camp activities are acceptable and which ones are not. It is no more your place to interfere in someone else's life experience by excluding their chosen activity than it is their place to interfere with your choice. On the show Fantasy Island, it would be totally inappropriate for someone having their own fantasy to decide what fantasies the others on the island could or could not have. We each get to choose exactly what we want without the need for approval from anyone else. Yes, some activities may be distasteful to others, and yes, society does object to certain activities, but part of choosing an activity is accepting the risks and the rewards that come with it. If you go horseback riding, there's a certain risk that you may be thrown off the horse and get hurt. Likewise, if you choose a criminal activity, there's a certain risk that you may get caught and put in prison or even killed. Don't pass judgment on anyone for the part that they are playing. After all, in the movies, there has to be somebody willing to play the bad guy if we're going to have someone play the good guy. Like the king and the jester, no one part is any more or less important to the whole movie. Sometimes the bad guy part is the most significant part in the movie and the most exhilarating one to play. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 2, Segment Number 4. Let your quest for knowing, 
Continue.